Hi all, it's PJ and I'm going to do a quick walkthrough on how to set up an account in Teachable and how to sign up for a class and what to do with the coupon codes. All right, so the first thing that you're going to need to do is actually go to the Teachable site, my Teachable site, and here's the address and I'll put it in the link below in the YouTube um, description. I'll put a link to my Teachable school. So you would go here and you're going to go to sign up. And it will bring you here. So you're going to enter your name. Whoops. You would use your real live name and put in your email address. and add a password. And then agree to these things if you want. You're going to have to agree to this or it won't let you go on, but you don't actually have to agree to that part. All right, I'm going to go ahead and click both of those and then I'm going to say sign up. And it will take you here. Um, you will also get in your email, whatever email you put in there, you will also get a confirmation requesting to um, verify your email. And it should look something like this. Confirm your account and it will say welcome. And you just hit this confirm email link and then you will be able to go back in and sign into the account once you go into here. So you could bookmark this so you can easily get back to here. All right, so you're now logged into your site and here are the classes that are that I've got posted in here so far. If you go to all courses, you'll literally see all of the courses. Okay, um, categories, I have these split up. So if you're only looking for club information, here's Surger Club and here's Baby Lock Genomi Brother Embroidery Club, and then all the other categories that I've set up. So if you're wanting to find something quickly, you can go into there. Under author right now, it's all going to just be me. Maybe someday we'll have guest teachers, but all right. So if you want to sign up for a class, um, a lot of these are free right now. Um, the most current ones do actually have a price, but these are club projects, so you should have gotten a coupon code. So even though this is what the price says, um, if you're a current member of club, you will have gotten a coupon code. So if you didn't, you can email me and we'll figure out what's what. Okay, so let's say you're going to want to sign up for one of the free classes. We'll walk through that first. So simply just select the class that you want. And I just did a single left click on that. Some of them are going to say right here, go to checkout page. Some of them won't have that. It just depends on how I set up the class when I was setting things up. So on this kind of intro page, it will give you the information about the class. Boom, all this stuff. It will show you the actual course curriculum, what all is included in this class. So in this, you get an info sheet, materials that you need to follow along with. And then in this case, here's the um, actual PDF instructions, the step-by-step -step instructions that are downloadable, and then the video supplement. And then you can enroll here. So this is a free course. So if you just go here to the checkout, because you know you want to do this, it will basically take you to the same place it's going to take you if you say enroll in course. So I'm just going to click enroll in course. And because this is a free class, it's not going to go through any of the payment options. And it's going to say, thanks for enrolling. And from here, you can just go directly to the curriculum. And here's the start of your class. So right here where it says start next lecture, click on this guy. This is where it's going to start. It will give you whatever info is in here. And usually on club projects, this will be what I call the um, the project sheet that will give you all the information for the project. Once you're done reading this, you just simply go up here and say complete and continue. 
it will take you to the next part. And in this case, so this was not a club project, so this one is set up slightly differently, but um, usually this will be a downloadable PDF. In this particular instance, here's the information that you need. This is this section would be equivalent to what is usually what I call the project sheet. And then here on this particular project, here's your pattern and it shows you a preview of this pattern. And if you continue to scroll down at the bottom of this, you can download the project here and it'll say download and you can just click on this and download that. And you'll look for that wherever your particular system downloads things to. Okay. Um, all right, and those PDFs, you're going to want to make sure that you print those at um, either 100% scale or without scaling. And um, all of my PDFs that are printable generally should have this. This box should measure one inch by one inch so that you can check. And you should be printing those on a inkjet printer because a laser printer, even though it says it's 100% scale, usually they are not. And it kind of depends on what you're doing, how accurate that needs to be. So just make sure you check that. So once you get through all of this stuff, you can just say complete this and then continue. And it'll show you here how far you're getting in the course. And it will show you here. So here is the video. And you just click this to do the video. Um, if you're trying to get to a specific part, you can literally just drag this to whichever part you want to get to. And then this is one thing that I do a lot. If you're just trying to understand the concept and you're not actually trying to follow along, which is what I do usually, I'll watch the video once through and then I'll take it through step by step. But if you go to this little gear right here, you can choose your speed and a lot of times I will either speed it up or slow it down. If I'm just trying to run through and see kind of a start to finish where I'm going with the project, I'll do it at one and a half to two times the normal speed. You'll get to hear me talk really fast. If it's a part that I'm trying to understand an actual concept and watch what's actually happening with happening with the machine, I'll slow it way down. So to me, this is a really handy thing and it's right here in the gear. Okay, so then if you scroll down past that, usually I'll put the video and the um, printable instructions in the same little header guy over here. So um, it could actually be in the, another one as well. So if it isn't included right here under the video, just go to the complete and continue and it will take you to the next section. And again, so here are all the step-by-step -step written instructions. And if you just scroll down past here, there's two scroll bars, I should probably explain this. I'm scrolling with my mouse in the middle here. So this is going to scroll through this little window. This is the scroll bar for my entire window. So if I scroll all the way over to here, here's your download. So then you would have to download those from here. Okay, so that is if you um, are doing a free project or just how to get through the projects. If you have, I'm going to go back up here and I'm going to go to all courses and I'm now going to enroll. And so I think now if you go to my courses, it will show you here's the one, this is what you've um, actually enrolled in. This will show you all your enrolled courses. So I'm going to go back to all courses and I'm going to sign up for a class that actually costs money. So this is the newest one, Embellished Mask. So I'm going to go in here and click on this. This one doesn't show enroll right here, but it's fine because it's going to be farther down. In here I try to put all of the information, what all is included with the download. Here you can see the course curriculum. And here it will usually say whether it's a video or not, and it will give you the length of the video. But here, so this is set up the way that I would set up my standard club projects. So here's what I call the project sheet, and this is what you're used to getting as an email. And then here will be your downloadable instructions. Here's the video. 
And then here's the embroidery files or any additional files. If there's more, it will show. And in this case, you've even got the mask pattern here as a PDF. And this is the version two with the, it's folded down the front instead of being in two separate pieces so that there's room to embroider. So here's the top and I'm just kind of scrolling down through and you're going to get here, choose a pricing option. There's only one. So the monthly club fee. So even though you've got a coupon code for this, you're going to just still say enroll now. And usually I try to put some project pictures down here as well. So I'm going to say enroll. So it's going to then take you to this page. So right under here where it says it has the order summary, add coupon. You want to make sure to click this and then plug in your coupon code. Probably the easiest way to do this is to copy it off the email that I sent. So I'm just copying that and I'm plugging that in and I'm going to hit the apply button. And then you should you should see the new amount here. So you're $11. And then go down to the payment information and choose to pay either by credit card or PayPal. I'm going to say PayPal. Your country is the United States. You have to agree to this information. And then enroll in course. And that's going to take you to PayPal unless you did the credit card and then it will just do the credit card information. All right, so I'm logged into my PayPal and I'm in here. So I'm just going to say continue you would do all your normal PayPal information. It's gonna then go through that and then it's gonna say, thanks for enrolling. And then you're gonna just go to your course curriculum the same way that you would have before. And there should be all of your information. If you do not wanna go in order, you should actually be able to just click on these individually and go directly to specific parts. And again, once you get down here to the bottom, if you use your window scrolling, you should be able to download right here. So sometimes it's easier to um, download the instructions and then follow along with the video. And in this case, your video's here. So you just click on it over here and it's gonna run you here. Okay. I hope that helps. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.